Hello, my name is Pierre Steckmeyer. I am a solutions architect for Amazon Web Services in New York City. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Amazon CloudWatch to track metrics from your containers running on Amazon Elastic Container Service. Amazon Elastic Container Service is a highly scalable, high-performance container management service that supports Docker containers and allows you to easily run applications on a managed cluster of EC2 instances or with Amazon Fargate. As you run containers, being able to push metrics into CloudWatch lets you monitor the performance and health of your services. It also allows you to set alarms that can take proactive actions based on the status of your containers and the load they are experiencing, including triggering auto-scaling or other functions within AWS. Let's take a look at the ECS console. Right away, you'll notice that some metrics are displayed, CPU utilization and memory utilization. Let us look deeper into one of these clusters. You might be familiar with this page. Let's go to Metrics tab. On this tab, you will find utilization and reservation for two dimensions, CPU and memory. So what is the difference between the two? Utilization is the amount of resources being used by the containers that are currently running, whereas reservation refers to the values that were entered in the test definition. You, you can think of it as what is being consumed versus what was asked for. Let us visit the CloudWatch console now. The metrics you found in the ECS console are also available here. You can look at metrics along two dimensions. One way is per service, per cluster. Here, you will find utilization. Looking at metrics per cluster, you will see both utilization and reservation. We recommend using reservation metrics for scaling the ECS cluster. For example, you can create an alarm that will scale out your cluster by adding more EC2 instances if memory reservation gets higher than 80%. CloudWatch is also home to CloudWatch logs. Here you can find logs that were produced by containers running on ECS. It is easy to enable containers to send logs to CloudWatch. First, you need to make sure that the task definition is allowed to send logs to CloudWatch by giving it an IAM role. Second, you need to indicate AWS logs as the log driver for your container. Looking into one of these test definitions, I will expand the container. And you see here that the log driver is AWS logs, and a few parameters have been specified. Elastic Container Service and CloudWatch work together so you can see service and cluster metrics. You can scale the cluster based on these and use CloudWatch logs to troubleshoot your applications. For more information on using CloudWatch with Amazon ECS, please see the AWS documentation. Thanks for watching.